But as you remember, I said it's not only about your product or service features, it's also about painkillers. That is, what are you going to reduce or eliminate for the customer? So here's a couple of hypotheses of what some painkillers might be. Because painkiller, until now, might have sounded like, well, wait a minute, do I hand the customers aspirin? And the answer is, yeah, you're really going to solve a pain for them. But the pain might be, is your product going to produce savings? That is, in time or money or efforts? Is it going to make them feel better? That is, entertainment products don't solve a problem, uh, but they solve a need. Uh, does it kill frustration, annoyances, or things that give them a headache? Does it fix solutions they already have but are underperforming? because you have new features or you're better or faster? Or does it end uh, difficulties and challenges that customers encounter every day? Does it make things easier or help them get things done or eliminate resistance? Does it wipe out or add to negative social consequences, loss of face, power, or trust, or add to social status like Facebook and Twitter, etc.? Or even LinkedIn? Or does it eliminate risk? Is it financial, social, or technical risks? Or what could go very wrong? So painkillers, your hypotheses, should include which one of these or some others. Because this list is finite, there might be other things you're solving and taking away pain from customers. But you need to be able to articulate based on your interactions outside the building with customers. Here's what they said, and when I bounced our product off of them, they said, yeah, 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 that really solves this pain, and more importantly, is an important pain.